A very common situation is when you need to propagate uncertainties. What does this mean? It means, let's say you have an uncertainty in the mass, but what you actually need in your equation is m squared. What's the uncertainty in m squared? Or let's say you have an uncertain mass and an uncertain velocity, and you want to work out the kinetic energy, half mv squared, and what's the uncertainty in that? Now, later in the course, we'll show you how to do this mathematically. It's a bit complicated and fiddly. Not that difficult, but definitely fiddly. But normally, you'll do this just using a computer to do the work for you. Now, one way to do it is to go to a web page like this one, which I've got in this tab over here. And this will calculate it for you. So let's say you wanted to work out the kinetic energy, half mv squared, and you had a mass of 5 plus or minus 1 kilograms and a velocity of 3 plus or minus 1 meter per second. So what you do is you enter the 5 in the x column here with a plus or minus 1, the 3 plus or minus 1, ignore this, and then you enter the equation 0.5x, which is the mass, times y, which is the velocity, Star star 2 means raised to the power of 2. That's the general computer notation for raising to a power. And then you press propagate, and it tells you that the kinetic energy is 22.5 joules with an uncertainty of 15.66. Another way to do it, the way I actually use, is Python. We'll learn about Python in numerous times in this course. Now, this is not part of standard Python. It's an add-on package. Many add-on packages are already included in the distribution we use, Anaconda, but this one isn't, so we have to install it. The instructions for how to do this are on the website and in the lab notes, but I'll show you here. So first of all, you start up Anaconda Navigator, then click here on Environments, Base, and open a terminal. You've got a terminal here. Now it tells you the magic incantation to use down here. It's conda install minus c conda forge uncertainty so you can copy that control c and paste it in there and hit return i won't do it because actually it's already installed on my computer it will scroll through for a while while downloading the package installing it it might ask you a few prompts which just answer y for yes and hit return to let it happen but when you've done that if you now start up a drupyter notebook so let's go back to anaconda navigator home and we can launch a Drupyter notebook. Now we're going to be producing a notebook to do our calculation. We should, put, we should put it somewhere. We can put it for example on the desktop or in the documents folder. Just click wherever you want to put it. And then when you're in the correct directory, go to new Python notebook, Python 3. Now inside the notebook, the first thing we need to do is tell Python that we want to use the uncertainties package. And the magic incantation for this, which once again is listed on the website, you say from uncertainties import star. That means take all the commands from the uncertainty packages and import them so Python can use them. And from uncertainties.umath import star. And this imports everything from the sub package of umath, which allows you to do maths with uncertainties. Now press shift and return on this. A little star will appear here for a while while it processes things, and then when it's finished processing our number one will appear there telling you it's happened. No error messages have come, so it's been successfully loaded. Now the first step is to define our variables, and the ufloat command is this. So let's define mass, so call mass m equals u float, and we'll put the expected value of the mass, 5, and the uncertainty, 1. So that's telling us that the mass is 5 plus or minus 1. And we'll put in the velocity, equals u out, that's 3 plus or minus 1. Shift enter to save them. And now we can do the calculation. We can do a half mv squared, so 0 0.5 times m times v star star 2, which means v squared. Press shift return, and once again it tells you the value and the uncertainty. And you can also put sine and cos and tan and log and all sorts of other functions in here.